I said, Amen. So there are two words there from the foundation of the world, kept secret from. Please pay attention. From the foundation of the word katabole. Katabole. That's the Greek word. From the foundation of the word K-A-T-A-B-O-L-E. The things that will be said we are hidden from the foundation of the world. The things that will be said we are hidden from the foundation of the world. Used by Matthew in Matthew 25:34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. From the foundation of the world. Please pay attention. That is, inherit from the foundation of the world. John 17, 24. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before before the foundation of the world from the foundation of the world before the foundation of the world those words are very important please pay attention keep them somewhere very close so there is a from the foundation of the world and there is a before the foundation of the world so there's a play with words there and we shall find out why ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love so there is a from the foundation and there is a before the foundation now from is at the inception at the inception when time began at the inception when time began some things were hid some things were hid hid from the foundation of the world matthew 13 he says, from the foundation of the world. Okay? So, please, don't lose those details. The other one, before time began. Before the foundation. And then, the one we're dealing with is from the foundation. So, there are things that were hidden from when time began or from the inception of the world. And there are things hidden before the world began. Before the world began. Before time. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. From the foundation of the world. And that will refer to Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. God rested. All right? Rested from the foundation of the world. Now, so when you hear the word from the foundation of the world, it means Genesis. From the inception of time. From the inception of time. Before the foundation. From before Genesis. From the foundation. From Genesis before foundation before genesis again things were hid before the foundation and things were hid from the foundation because time began in genesis from the inception of time from the foundation of the world so back to matthew 13 35 our text that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying i will open my mouth in parables i will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world this is getting interesting so i will speak things that were hidden from the foundation of the world from the inception of time so do we agree do we agree that from the foundation of the world will refer to genesis yeah the foundation of the world will refer to genesis okay before the foundation of the world will refer to before genesis
okay so genesis is where the foundation began that means there are secrets that are hid in genesis that means there are things you will read in genesis that are secrets and as long as you stay in genesis you cannot see them they are hid and what is hid remains hid until revealed so when you read genesis there are things you will see in genesis that might give you the impression that that's all it is but jesus tells us himself emphatically that there are things truths hidden in the book of genesis for example when he said god rested on the seventh day god rested on the seventh day it doesn't mean sunday the seventh day doesn't mean sunday so question what will that rest be on the sixth day he created man question when did he create woman if god created the man on the sixth day question when did he create the woman the same day male and female created he them and called their name adam genesis 5 2. so the same day he created man he created the woman they were created the same time male and female created so adam was male and female in one because adam was the progenitor of the human race and god didn't create just male he created male and female now that's not even the point here the point here now will be what do we mean by god rested on the seventh day seven day doesn't mean sunday so what will it mean the seven day and the rest is not like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday the seven day and the rest seven day will be time or a dispensation because that's a truth hid in genesis to be revealed so it will be time or a dispensation that is when god finished his work he allowed man to enter his rest so a man enters god's rest by believing when a man believes the gospel he enters god's rest man enters god's rest by believing but a man like adam did not enter god's rest because adam didn't believe the gospel so adam never entered god's rest hmm. so rest will be because adam didn't believe but in genesis that's not clear because the rest god was speaking about in genesis was prophetic about salvation the death of christ and we enter in his finished work rest will mean what god has done that you believe and you enter and enjoy that's the meaning of rest it's not like a uh, sunday or saturday you will not see this in genesis what you'll be seeing is parables because it is hidden a day is a dispensation rest is used for faith so there are comparisons they are comparisons but you know christians have picked sunday as a day of rest and then there are the sabbatarians who say the day of rest is saturday and you know jesus made a mockery of them because the sabbath people fight very hard trying to prove a point that if it is not saturday it is not a holy day but jesus made a mockery of that he showed up on a day of sabbath when they are supposed to be resting and his disciples were busy walking and he was healing and um, performing miracles and they said to jesus why don't your disciples observe the sabbath and jesus said to them <laughs> man is not made for the sabbath but the sabbath is made for man and i am the lord of the sabbath that means the rest is fulfilled in my death burial and resurrection that means sabbath is not a day it's not about sunday saturday friday evening no 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 it's about jesus our rest jesus our sabbath how do we enter that rest by believing 
so on the seventh day when god rested it was a prophetic declaration that jesus will die and man will enter into the finished work of christ which becomes his rest it's not about a day of worship it's not about a day of worship it was a prophecy it was a revelation that was hid from the foundation of the world are we together here oh yeah it was revelation knowledge hid from the foundation of the world that means the finished work of christ was made for us and not us for eating 